Welcome. In front of me is a Black Shark 5 Pro, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, before I get started, I'm just going to quickly go over the state of this phone right here. So you can obviously see it is locked and the phone is prompting me right now to verify the previously set up pattern. So I need to confirm that to actually finish up the setup or I could use a previously logged in Google account to verify it that way. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, uh, what we will want to do is number one, connect to Wi-Fi network, which when I back up, you can see that I have already done so. So progress through the setup till you get to this page choose your Wi-Fi network, connect to it, and from there you want to grab a SIM card which will be required for this. So just take off the case. Now the tray is located at the bottom of the phone, so just pop it out. There we go. Insert the card into your phone and we should get SIM pin. I do I believe this is a requirement. Let me quickly make sure. Actually actually no, it's not a requirement, so we don't even need the SIM pin. So anyway, once you pop it in, um, you wanna then take it out. It should lock the device. So let's press power key and you will be on the on the lock screen. So pull this down, you'll get this little bell icon you want to press on it. I will fully take out the SIM card. So there we go. So once you press on that bell icon it will take you to the notification center and from here we will want to navigate to app notifications, scroll all, all the way down there we go. Select YouTube. And then you want to select additional settings in the app. About. Help. And in the help uh, search bar, you want to type in delete or disable. It shows up as a suggested one. Delete or disable apps on Android. Second option for me. So I'm gonna press on it. From here, tap on the uh, step one. As you can see, tap to go to application settings. Then you wanna select more. Show system. Scroll just a little bit down and you'll find Android setup. I'm gonna click on it. Select first stop and OK. Then go back. Make sure that there is uh, there isn't any other Android setup running, but it looks like it is the only one. So from here, I'm gonna scroll down to Google Play Services. Okay, right over here, and select disable. Disable up. Once you disable it, it looks like it closes it out. So let's find it again. Go play services and then also select for stop and OK. From here, go back and scroll all the way down. Actually, a little bit up. We're looking for settings. It looks like we have two different ones. So I'm gonna check the first one right here. And it looks like that's the one that we need to uh, access. Now, as you can see, the one that I opened has the op option right here called open. If I open up the second settings, you can see it does not have this option. So make sure you open up the correct one, select open. And from here, we will scroll down to Additional settings, accessibility. From here, I believe we need to navigate to vision. Let's see. Oh no, there it is. My bad. So we're looking for accessibility menu. 
So toggle it on, select allow, okay. And once you have toggled the accessibility menu, simply just back out to the beginning of the setup, which I think I already am in, so. Progress through the setup till you get to, I believe, this page or, nope, next one. So select don't copy and you should be stuck right here. The reason for that is because we have disabled Google Play services, so the phone cannot connect to any kind of uh, Google services to validate if the device is locked or not. So we're just gonna kind of stay here. So from here, what you want to do is select this accessibility mini button, select Google Assistant, and then select settings, which should show up right here. And from here, that will open up Google Play Services page where you want to select Enable. There we go. Now, as you can see, it takes a couple tries to get it enabled. That's completely normal. So just keep on repeating this uh, this combination of button mushing till you manage to enable it right over here. Once you do, press on the back button once. Tap somewhere on the screen to get rid of the Google Assistant. And as you can see, it just kind of skipped through the verification process of the phone. So from here, we can just finish up the setup. And I will mention this right now that once you have access to the home screen, the device is still not unlocked. So there is one last thing we need to do to finish this off, which is uh, factory reset the device through settings. So open up settings, scroll all the way down. Actually, no, not all the way down. The first option about phone. And in here we have factory reset, erase all data, factory reset, and select next after the 10 seconds passes. And then select OK once the another 10 seconds passes. I'm not going to go over this on the video just because this is a simple fact to reset all the device, which we need to do as a last step. But the reason I don't want to do this is it just wastes, wastes time for you as a viewer. It will not show you anything new, anything extra. It's just a lot of black screen. And once it's finished, you are presented with the setup screen, at which point you can set up your phone however you want. It is fully unlocked at that point, so do whatever you want. So anyway, with that being said, that is basically how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.